Hola, ¿qué tal? Y bienvenidos a Pequeñines TV. El programa de hoy sí que está como Dios manda, porque tenemos una invitada que nos va a hablar sobre cómo podemos acceder al sistema de preescolar de la ciudad de Nueva York y las cosas que necesitamos y necesitan nuestros hijos para ir a la escuela que nosotros y que ellos se merecen. Vamos a dejar que nuestra experta nos dé los detalles. Hi, I'm Alina Adams, author of the book Getting into NYC Kindergarten and my website www.nycschoolsecrets.com because all families deserve to know all their school options. New York City kids have a ton of options when it comes to kindergarten. For public school, most kids have a zoned school. A few don't, but the majority of kids do. A zoned school is the school that's based on your address and is the school that you will usually be assigned to, but it does not have to be your only choice. There are other public school options. For instance, there are unzoned schools. Some are district-wide, which means anyone in the district has as much of a shot at them as anyone else. There are city-wide schools, which are open to anyone in the city. There are magnet programs, there are dual language programs, and there are gifted and talented programs. There are also charter schools, which are a different kind of public school. And then there are private schools, which are religious schools and independent schools. You can apply your child to different kinds of schools in, no surprise, many different ways. For public schools, you can go online. The New York City Department of Education has a parent portal. Now, it has had a lot of glitches. It's relatively new, so keep trying if you can't get on it the first time. But basically, you will create an account. And there you can apply your child, usually starting in December, going through January, to a variety of general ed public schools. That includes your zone school, your unzoned school, magnet programs, and dual language programs. There are also gifted and talented programs. Now with gifted and talented programs, your child has to take a test to qualify. A form comes out on the same parent portal, usually in around October, to sign your child up to take the test. Then your child will take the test in January. Based on your child's score, you can then apply your child to a variety of gifted and talented programs. Some are citywide and some are district. Now for charter schools, you apply to yet a different format. That one does not happen on the parent portal. For charter schools, you need to either apply to the school directly or you need to apply via common app from the charter school center. For private schools, that's something else. For private schools, you apply to each school directly. It is very possible for your child to get into one type of general ed school, a G&T program, more than one charter school, and more than one private school. And then you have choices. If you or your child don't speak English, this is not a problem. You can still attend a New York City school. The parent portal, it comes in many languages. It can be done in Spanish, it can be done in Mandarin, it can be done in several other languages. When you log on, you'll be able to see. And if your child does not speak English, there are programs for that. If you're sending your child to a general ed public school, often they will have an English language learners program, but do find out before you're signing your child up if it's a separate class or if it's something that they might be sent to a different school, which actually does make a difference. There's also something called dual language programs in public schools. Dual language programs are schools where the curriculum is taught half in English and half in another language. There are many programs, majority of them are in Spanish, but there's also Korean and Japanese and Mandarin and Russian and Polish and Urdu and many, many other options, which you'll be able to find on the parent portal. You need to apply to these programs if your zoned school has a dual language program, your child will have priority if they're a native speaker of the language. But if your zoned school doesn't have a dual language program and your child has, uh, is a native speaker of the language, they might be able to get into another school if the school is looking specifically for native speakers of that language. Eso fue bastante información, pero bien útil. Para poder recapitular, pueden ir debajo de este video y ver todos los enlaces que hemos compartido con toda la información que Alina nos acaba de brindar. Esperamos que les sirva y esperamos verlos la semana que viene con más contenido para los pequeñines y sus familias. ¡Nos vemos!